Bruh, I don't know how I got into this one. I don't know how. I've worn it several times, and I don't know how I got into it. Like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's so hard. show you guys the different types of Fajas that you can wear during your post recovery, I mean your post uh, surgery recovery period. Um, I have purchased so many different ones over the last year. Um, I just wanted to show you guys what I had, what I've been using that's helped me both during my lipo recovery and now during my tummy tuck mommy makeover kind of recovery. So I had so many and <laughs> I'm just going to go through the different ones and yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right. So first I have like this whole tub full of stuff and then I have like all of these different things and I'm going to tell you what each one of them is. So first, so I always wear a tank top underneath my compression garments regardless. Right now I have on my, uh, my um, scar therapy, silicone belt kind of wrap kind of thing. I have that going on right now. It goes from hip to hip. Um, so I just pull that up over there. I pull down my tank top this is the faja that i was sent home in or the compression garment that i was sent home in from sonabello post uh lipo when i got the lipo 360 and this is uh the first one it comes down maybe to like a little past the top of my thigh it does not have any zippers. It's very stretchy. This was considered the stage two Faja. This is not stage two at all. Not stage two. Very stretchy. Stage two is very um, tight or the fabric is really um, hard or less stretchy. But this is what Sanabello considered their stage two Faja. The one that they sent me home home in. Let me put this here. This one, this is the one I came home in from Sanabello, um, and it was a size 2X. <laughs> and as you can see, it goes all the way down to your calves to compress um, your full body. Same, super stretchy, um, and it has the hook and eye closure with the three hook. So it has the three um, sets right there for you. Um, you'd be able to start here if you were larger to start here on the end and then you can go in smaller to um, make it tighter. But yeah, I came home in this and it's like way too big for me right now. So I'm not going to try this one on, but um, I'm not going to put this one on for you. I'm just going to um, let you see it. And I wanted to get it taken in, but it's so stretchy that getting it taken in still wouldn't have helped. But what I will say is it did help me in my recovery for the tummy tuck because I was so super swollen and the compression goes all the way down. So my thighs were super swollen, my abdomen was swollen, and it was perfect. Um, it did not, it, it didn't um, fit too tight and it it gave me just enough compression to feel um, supported and everything. So, yeah, this was my very, 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 very first Faja. <laughs> um, I will gift it if anybody wants it, but I don't wear this one anymore. Um, it's for a larger size and I'm a lot smaller than I was when I started my journey um, into size loss. <laughs> Not even weight loss, but size loss. So... Um, this one, I don't use it anymore, so it stays in my little tub. 
This one I put on every once in a while. It is a extra large, um, but it, it's, it, it fits super small. It's, it's cut small, so it's not like really, really large um, in clothing. I wear a large, sometimes a medium, but um, sometimes when I'm going through swell hell, which if you're in this recovery process yourself, you know what Swell Hill is. It's where every part of you swells and it's because of either sodium or just your body is just going through a swelling period. This is really good for that period of time for me. So, but it's like all in, you know, case, like no hooks, no zipper, no anything. So you have to put it all on and pull it all off in, in order to um, move around in it. So this was my second Faha ever. This is the Faha I came home in, or compression garment I came home in from Luxury for my mommy makeover tummy tuck. Um, and this one has a zipper on the side. It's made very poorly. Um, it is a extra large, but when I, again, when I came home, I was really, really swollen. So this was super tight on me. But really quickly, it it started to um, be too big. So um, I, thankfully, I had some smaller compression garments already. This was good for the breast augmentation because I had um, the fat transfer to my boobs. And the top of this was really, really helpful in keeping it not compressed, but um, holding me in. This one is a custom made. Faha that I had made <clears throat> by Tributo in Colombia, and <clears throat> it was made based off of my measurements from my tummy tuck. I mean, not my tummy tuck, my lipo 360. I have not tried to get into it since um, I had my tummy tuck, but I will attempt to get into it tonight <laughs> so you guys are going to get first hand view <laughs> of me trying to stuff all of this into this compression garment it is very 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 high compression um so like i was saying with the the sanabella faja it's really stretchy this one is not it does not have give it's not forgiving like it is it isn't um intended to hold you and compress you well um, and because I did not get like a BBL or anything, it does not have compression in the butt or the thighs. It is only in the abdomen and the back. Um, but it also has the bra in here, which is no compression in the bra area. Um, so yeah, and it has the hooks and it has one, two, three, four, um, levels of hooks. So you can start larger and then go in smaller as your waist um, cinches in. So um, this is a really good one. It's made really well, like it's um, designed really well for compression. So that's my Tributa one. That one's really expensive. I think I paid about $200 for that one. So your girl is gonna keep that one, all right? Um, so then when I was in my quest to get uh, Faha's, um, I ordered, I, I went and got this one, which is a size large shaper X. I got this off of Amazon and it's more of like a, it is a stage two compression garment, but it's more of like a, a bathing suit style. So it doesn't come all the way down on your thighs. It comes up like panties and it has a zipper, but it also has the hooks on the inside so it has the zipper on the outside but on the inside it has the hooks for you but it only has one level of hooks so there's not much room for um shrinkage so where it is is where it is if you can get into it now and you lose weight then you just have to go to a different size compression garment when using this one again this is a size large I'm probably between a large and a medium at this point. Um, so I only wear this when I'm wearing something where I'm trying to conceal um, that I have on the garment, but I still feel like I need some compression. 
Then I have this one, which is a size medium. <laughs> I have yet to be able to get into this one. Or did I get in this? Wait, let me think about that. I got in this one before. I've gotten in this one, but at the top. Um, so it, it, it has the hooks, but it's only two uh, levels of the hook. But on me, because I'm between a medium and a large, at the top, like right here um, on my abdomen, it kind of bulged out. So I was kind of looking for something that uh, would, you know, keep that inside of the garment. And this just wasn't doing it for me. This is my nighttime Faha. Um, I put this one on at night when I'm going through swell hell pretty bad. This one comes all the way down to the middle of my cat or the top of my calves. Um, it has the hook and eyes here and it is three hooks. It does three over um, and it's high compression as well. It's that high compression fabric. It doesn't have much stretch. It does stretch a little but not as much as the one from Sanabella. And these nice little cushions are helpful to keeping this from keeping the strap. Um, from digging into um, your shoulders and your arms. It comes down underneath your boobs um, so that there's no compression in your boobs. There is an opening in the middle um, to allow for restroom um, usage without a hassle. There's no compression in the butt area on this one either. Um, I've gotten a lot of my compression garments from uh, Hermosa in Greenbelt. Maryland um, in the Beltway Plaza shopping center but a lot of them or a few of them I've gotten off of Amazon as well um, and they're not that expensive they range anywhere from $50 to $100 just depends on um, whether it's stage one stage two whether you know um, it's on Amazon or if it's from in the store uh, but yeah I got this one from Hermosa and this is a size large, I think a large, this is a size, no, this is a size extra large. Oh, I remember I got this one in a large in a black and I couldn't even close it. <laughs> so they made me get the next size up, which is extra large and the extra large still fits pretty tight, but I wanted high compression. So, um, it was perfect for me and um, it was only about $80 when I got this one, it's about $80 and I wear it to bed. So I don't wear it out in public. I wear this one to bed. The other ones I can pretty much wear out in public cause they're black and they can hide underneath my clothes. But this one, I just wear it to bed. So then I have this one that is my trusty, uh, Faha that I can wear to bed or out in public. This one is a size large or a 12. I got this one off of Amazon and it has the hook and I, um, three hooks. Um, it comes down to the top of your thighs. It comes down to the top of your thighs. There's no compression in the butt area. Um, but they do have the garments that are made specifically for BBLs. Um, but this is just for um, abdominal surgery or um, any other types of surgery recovery um, that's, that is not BBL. So, um, And it's, it's a stage two, just like the others. Um, high compression. There's a little bit of stretch in it, but not much. Um, the thighs has the lace down there with the um, standard uh, like sticky tape that kind of uh, grabs your legs so that it doesn't like ride up on you when you're wearing it. And like I said, it was a large and I wear this pretty much inside the house, outside the house, under my clothes, whatever. Um, I wear this one all the time. So I have one more, but I don't know where it is. It's the 
the nude color um, that I showed you of the other one. I think it may be in the laundry because, you know, I wear my compression garments all the time. But I also have compression garments that are not considered Fajas um, that I bought in to wear in between and to wear like when I'm out and about because I don't always require a Faja. So they're kind of like, not girdles, but like compression garments that hold, that bind your tummy. Um, so I guess you consider it shapewear maybe. Um, <clears throat> and I've gotten all of these from Target and Walmart. Um, so I have a nude, a black one, and they're full body except for the breast. Like they don't um, cover your breast, the breasts are out. Um, I have the waist on, you know, the ones that just come up here to cover um, your abdomen. Have this one, this is made in form, where it also comes up, covers your abdomen, kind of give you some support and compression. Same with this one, support and compression. None of these have butt compression. All of these are um, loose in the bottom and some have the opening in the middle. Some of them snap like this in the middle. This one comes all the way up and it's just shapewear, so there's still no compression in the boobs, but it allows for you to wear underneath clothes and be discreet. Then I have this one, same. It's kind of full body compression with the boobs, no compression in the boobs. Um, and it's designed to be worn under like a dress that has cleavage showing, so, um, but it does give the compression in the middle and on the thighs without the seam so there's like no line of demarcation in your clothing um so that is it for compression garments so the last little bit of this video are the different types of binders that i purchased for my recovery other than that, I'll leave the link to the I'll leave the link in the description box below of the types where I got them from and what they cost. I hope this video was very helpful for you and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Happy vlogmas guys. Bye. Sleigh bells ring, diamonds bling, carol sing, favorite season. Sleigh bells ring, diamonds bling.